Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a weekly project plan Gantt chart in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this weekly project plan. On the top, we are showing the project start date and project end date. Here we are capturing the different activities of the project and this is the week start date. This is the week end date. This is the duration in number of weeks and this is the current status of that task. Here we are showing the timeline and uh, these all dates are dynamic as you change any date here automatically that will be changed. So we are capturing the week starting from Monday. Now here we have put the duration in week if I change it let's say to 15 week automatically it will be considered here in the timeline. As well as we have put the color coded condition also like status is pending then it is in red if I change to WIP it is in yellow or the completed it is in green. Okay so this will be totally dynamic. It is ready to use you just need to input your activity dates and the duration and the status automatically that will be created. Alright friends. Now let me show you how we have created this. So I will create this from the scratch. I'm just going to add a new seat here. This is seat four. So I will show you how we can add this. So first we will take this top title. So let's select this range or first let us take the this area. So I'm just going to copy this as it is and let's come to the seat four and we will paste it from B5. So I'm just pasting it as a value listed as value. Now we will format this. So select this range and align this middle and center. Reduce the font size. Take around 8. Now select the header. Make this slightly bigger and background color. Let's say I'm taking this color and take here this font and make this bold. Alright. Then go to the view. So uncheck the grid lines. Now we can select this range again and we can apply some border. Let's say I'm taking this color border. So just apply all borders or you can take some lighter color also. All right. Now we will create the timeline also. So let's make it slightly smaller first. The height of the column A. Now let's select this range and here we can just go to the text wrapping and wrap the text. Okay. Now let us delete this end date because we will make it dynamic as you enter the duration it should be calculated automatically. So that will be start date plus number of week multiply 7 and we will use here minus 1 because if week is starting from Monday that means it will be ending with Sunday. So let's use here minus 1. Okay now let's fill this down. All right, so this date is coming automatically here. If I change this, then you can see this date is getting changed. Now we can capture here start date, project start date. So project start date will be minimum of this week start date. And just hit the enter. So this is the minimum of this date. And for the week start date, you can select the whole range, right click, go to the drop down. Here you can select is valid date and just say done. So the benefit of this is if you double click anywhere, it will show this calendar so that you can select the date. Now let's select this range and we will apply some formatting here. So first let's select uh, only start date and uh, let's say I'm taking this color here. Then here select these two, make this bold slightly smaller align the center and middle and then go to the border let's select the same color all border here you can take the white point color okay this is start date let us make a copy and paste that here here we will take the end date and for the end date we can use the max function and we will take the maximum of the end date. So that is our project end date. Okay. Now 
we will create the timeline here so to create the timeline we will insert few more columns because we have only 26 columns so we have selected all columns right click and insert the 20 more columns all right so we have now more columns and we can take here first date as the start date of the project this one the second date we can take this one plus seven okay because we are taking here weekly data not daily okay so first week second week like this and just copy and you can paste this till here now let's select this range and just go to the format number and just go to the custom number format and here we can take the formatting as dd dash mmm this one and apply now let's go here on the text rotation and take this one rotate up press ctrl space to select all columns twice and just double click here to auto fit the columns now if you want to remove few dates from here let's say i want to take till august only or first of sep september only i can delete these extra dates you can adjust this date range as per your requirement and you can add more columns also now let's select this and we can apply the uh, same color here so let's go to the color and take here let's say this color border you can take white color border okay and the font also let's take the white color font all right now we will select this range and uh, only timeline area range this one here you can apply the border of some light gray color you can make it more lighter using this plus button and just adjust this let's say i'm going to take this one and then all borders or you can say just inside one as you want all right so we have some borders here now we can create this as a drop down right click and just go to the drop down so here for the completed let's take this green color for pending this red and here wip this one and just turn okay so we can see the green yellow and red color here now we will put a formula here and before that let let me create the header of this so let's select this range till here and just use my cells and here you can select this color or you can make it more darker of this so let's select this one click on ok this is weekly can chart Now let's align this center and middle and take the font white, font color take area rounded, make it slightly bigger. You can change the title whatever you want to capture, you can take that and reduce the row height of these two row and the first column. Now here we will put the formula that will be if and then use end this date the first date and we will put the dollar sign before the five if this date is greater than and equal to week start date let's put the dollar sign before the column number comma this is first condition the second condition this date the same date and put the dollar sign before the row because row will be freezed here if this is less than and equal to end date this one and put the dollar sign here okay that means if this date is coming between these two dates in that case we will show the value of status and then put the dollar sign here in the otherwise case we will show blank here and just close the bracket hit the enter so it is showing here completed if i change this to the pending then it is showing here pending now let me copy this formula and let me paste this in this whole timeline range just paste this as formula paste a special formula only so we can see here it is showing pending 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 and this is completed okay so it is showing on these dates so now let's select and then we can go to the format conditional formatting or you can go to the fill color also and here you can go to the condition formatting. now let's select here is equal to this one and first let's take pending in the pending let's select here red color this one and the font color also take the same color 
and just see done. Now let's add another rule and again select here equal to and put here let's say WIP and this time we will select this color and same font color and just say done add another rule select is equal to and put here complete it and take here this green color this one or this one and take the same font color and just say done and just close this now we can see our timeline is looking like this now this is totally dynamic let's say here i am putting 20 then this is 20 b okay 15 then 15 b and if i change the pending then it is pending if i change it to the wip then it is in yellow right so this is getting changed as per the selection of the status the color will appear here all right friends so friends that is how we have created this weekly gantt chart in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for the watching.